What is up, you guys? It is your boy, um, Brenton Biggers here, and I wanted to talk about why I made my, um, recent video of Do I Deserve Friends? So, this is basically, I guess you can say, a part two, but it's more towards the, the background of why I made that video. And the one thing that comes straight up to my mind is I feel like an outcast. And I think this is the perfect place to say it because when people are around, like, I always feel like the last one picked of everything. I feel like people just don't really care about me. And... That's just when I think, like, no one prefers to talk to me, no one really cares, and really the only, unless it's very important information to them that I have, there's nothing else I don't think anybody would care. Like, and I say this, again, a lot of times, that I think everybody at school, specifically at school, and not family or teacher related, People are just, they don't think highly, midly, or lowly. They just feel empty to me. And that's why sometimes I honestly feel invisible during school. And I think I have my right to. Because literally I feel sometimes like the world's most, like I feel like, I could be in a class at one point, and boom, the next minute I'm gone. Because you can never notice. Nobody will ever notice. Except teachers, obviously. But outside of that, no one really notices. Like, I'm, like, I feel sometimes invisible, and I hate it. Obviously now, I think it's getting better, and I feel like I'm starting to be less invisible, but... That's still... But... Still, I still feel lonely here, and this is why I made one of those videos, my that video in the first place. I just feel lonely, and with no one playing with me or anything like that, it just makes me feel more lonely. And um, but I can hurt myself or something like that. That's one big and crucial detail. In my life. Is that I just don't feel like anybody. You know I mean this really. That nobody cares. And nobody wants to play with me. Now again. I would love to have. I don't even care if it's just random fans. Or people at school even. I don't care. If anybody wants to play with me. Please let me know. Because. I'm here alone. And. I barely get people to play with. I don't even care if it's fans, like I said, girls. I don't care. It's just really starting to get sad and lonely, and I can get lonely very quick because, well, I kind of quarantine myself in the room, but you get the point. It's sad, but it's also kind of my fault, but it's also at the same time just... People not really thinking so highly of me. That's like one of the big things of why. The, but the main point was really because of I just really have no friends. And I don't have anybody to play with. And that was one thing of why I made that video in the first place. Then the, the second reason is obviously because of just it's so related to my life. Because my life has been so terrible. Like a literal roller coaster. Like it went up. From elementary, middle school, and then now from towards the more end of the middle school, starting to go up again. So, yeah, and that's insane to me. Obviously, my favorite thing talking to you guys is the factor that I get the chance to like talk to potentially people that have the exact same problem that I do, but just never know that I actually do. 
obviously, you know, one of my things I would like to do is have people actually play with me with mics, obviously, which is why sometimes I ignore people sometimes because I just don't like playing with players that don't talk that much and don't even have a mic at all. Like, I hate that because I hate people that they don't talk. Well, I guess that's kind of true, though, because, like, they just don't, because you don't know the person. Like, it's kind of like me. Like, if I wasn't talking at all, you have no idea who the heck I am. And you would be, honestly, like, I probably would just end up being even more of an outcast than I am. But, like, the truth is, my life as a middle schooler has sucked. And I think I might be making an, a video about that probably towards the end of the year. But how middle school has probably ruined my life and then also made my life go to a different projector. So that's what I'm probably going to do. There are highs and then there's definitely big lows, preferably lows um, in middle school. And middle school, I'm not going to lie, kind of blamed, I blame them 85% um, of what happened to ruin my entire life. But um it's not entirely that. And 7.5% goes to death. And then the other 7.5% goes to just being kids and maturing. So pretty much other. <laughs> so yeah, it's, 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 it's stuff like that. Actually, I guess then it would be like 75%. Then other would be 25 because COVID does have, like, a, a significant to that. But that's not the point. But, and then number three, because I want to hear this to be heard. That, again, like I said, I feel like an outcast. I feel alone. And at school, I truly feel like no one has my back. Even some people that I think that know that I have my back, I don't, sometimes don't even think they do. Because... That's just, like, how I feel at school. I honestly feel unsafe during school. I sometimes feel like it's a prison. Like, there are some things that I just... Well, like I said, I'm not a big fan of that school. And, well, a couple of those things are math and... E well, ELA and lunch being feeling like an actual prison. But, yeah, you get the point, but... It's just stuff like that that really makes me sad. And the one other thing is is recess. The recess is one of the bigger things because recess and one of the reasons why I just don't really care that much of going outside at recess is because if I'm not playing football, I feel like I'm an outcast because like football is obviously one of my favorite things to do. Um why I make so much videos of it. Um and also, I have been pushing back on one video that I'm definitely going to want to publish. Um, but, yeah, I have made so many videos, and I am probably about, like, 35-40% of them are from football. Because football is, again, one of my favorite games to play ever. If it's from Madden, if it's in real life, if it's actually playing the actual sport of football with children pass and stuff. I don't care. It's just like something that is one of my favorite things to do. And it just, again, sucks that I don't have a lot of people to play with. And it, it, it just keeps sucking and sucking every time. And one of my least favorite things is that a lot of people just don't really seem to care. And I'm very unfortunate to have this. Like, if I had to ha like, say, like, I have, I think, a perfect, no, I wouldn't say perfect, but I would still say I have probably one of the best lives ever if I just had friends. I honestly could just say that as a fact. Well, maybe it might not be true, but still. But, it's such a big impact to my life of not having friends. It's actually insane. Sometimes it actually makes me feel down um, during projects and stuff. Which is true. Like, literally, sometimes I feel like I'm in, like, again, in, in, 
one of my things of why I like, but also dislike project, group projects, is because of the factor that I feel like I barely get any sort of chance of using. Okay, they're like, like, this is what I bet you people in my head, their head, think when they have me as my, as their partner. Oh my gosh, we got him here, bro, like, this is such a joke, man. I hate this. Like, that's honestly what I feel. And it sucks because I am, I think, in my opinion, incredibly smart. Even smarter than maybe Casey, even. If I had, if I didn't have anxiety. Like, if I didn't have anxiety, it, well, obviously you would have anxiety. But if, let's say, less anxiety and less depression and less bad reactions... And also don't have test anxiety. Honestly, I might be probably one of the smartest students in my grade. I'm going to just say that right now. It's just stupid things that are holding me back from actually showing me my true potential as a human being. And that's what really is upsetting me. Is there are these things that are just holding me back. And it's really, really irritating. And it's kind of because of people but it's also because of myself that's holding me back mentally physically and emotionally like everything is holding me back like physically and mentally i think like mentally is both emotionally it's really friends like the lack of friends so people you could say it's socializing i think it's also both so yeah, you got all of that, and that's my life for you. Like, that's why, again, like I said, um, I like talking with, you know, Charlotte. Now, people saying I have the Riz, but the truth is, I'm just trying to make friends here. That's what I'm really trying to do. I am not saying I have the maximum Riz, because let's face it, I don't. But... What I'm just trying to do is trying to make friends out here. Even if they're girls. I don't care. It's just the fact is. I. And that's why sometimes I really am pushing on. Who my crush is. And you know who you are. Because I'm pretty sure maybe you do. But I don't know. But the truth is. That's one thing that I have to say. Is that's why I'm pushing to try to do things. Like with. Even if they're with girls or boys, I don't care. It's just, the, the truth is, I'm just out here trying to make friends. And that's why the testing kind of stinks, because I'm not out there in my own classes in related arts exactly, doing stuff with them. You know, that sucks. That's one reason why I kind of dislike math sometimes, is because you're not doing, like, like if there was a group math, like, like if there was more group math, I think it would be more fun. But that's why I like science sometimes. And sometimes even ELA, which is like one of the only things I like about ELA. It's the fact you actually get to grow with groups for a lot of times. But there's always a limit to groups. Like, for example, ELA had this example being in your groups more than a week, it's very irritating. It gets very boring very quick. And it also just gets infuriating. And it also gets frustrating because you just want it to end. So, there is that. But, that's just the point. It's very sad. It's very frustrating. And I can't, you know, you just can't wait for it to be done. So, yeah. But one of my favorite things in life is is unpredictable. Like, I never know if someone actually really wants to hang out with me. Like, for example, like, Jack Bunyan. And, yes, I am saying a name. But I honestly think we have personal and also just very good chemistry and connection. Like, the two C words, by the way. Um... Because we both love football. Well, I think that's in that matter because his dad is literally a high school head coach who honestly could probably be in the college football league if he could. And and we're also all both extremely active. We're both 
Well, I wouldn't say I'm extremely active, but I love being active. I bet you he loves being active too. Those are two good examples of why we could honestly be good friends. Like, I really change player style in so many ways in terms of being friends. Like, if you were, like, playing video games, we could play Fortnite, Call of Duty, Madden, you know, all these examples. And then you got, what if you like just being active? We could play basketball, football, catch, catching the fly, something like that. There are tons of examples of why I say I could just be a perfect example and a perfect kid for anybody who wants a friend and hangs out. Obviously, hanging out friends, not just school friends. There's a difference. But those are one things I really do enjoy about, well, me. I can adjust to any play style, and it just depends on what kid I get. If I have a kid that that play does the both things, great. I mean, that is literally perfect. That's a perfect match there. But again, that's the problem. Is if I find it, which that is very hard to do in life. Very hard. And that's why sometimes I kind of wish that I could tell some people. But obviously, like I say, I'm invisible, I feel like, for, to some people. And that's why I honestly like try to write emails or a letter or something like that. You know, like just like try to be a normal kid. And, you know, the truth is, like I said, I have a crush. And I'm pretty sure there are some people out there that are like, <gasps> Sip! Because I say that sometimes. But the truth is, the only reason why I actually have a crush on them is because I'm hoping that we can become friends. That's all I'm asking for. Like, so yeah, am I technically kind of gay? Yeah, yeah, I kind of am. But am I also non? Yeah, you could say so too. The truth is, I like women, and I also like men. Because they both have their advantages and disadvantages, which make sense, obviously. So, that's what I'm, hap I'm going to say. I want friends, boys or girls, I don't care. And I want to hang out with them. Jesus Lord, the wind is going crazy right now. Um, so, yeah. Um, there's that, and I'm really hoping that can come and happen, you know? But yeah. So let's just, like, quickly summarize what I'm trying, or trying to get to the main point. The main point is, I want to make friends. Or girls. Friends. I don't care. If it's one of the two, I'll be a happy man. Because I just feel lonely here. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one. Actually, I'm positive. I'm certain that I'm not the only one. Like, I don't, like, I feel alone. I feel like outside of my family, there's no one I can else talk to. Obviously, there are some people, but that's about it. So... That's one thing I gotta say that I need for you guys to happen. Please, please make this happen. Give me your Fortnite user, give me your PlayStation user, any of that. That would be very appreciated to me and yourself. Just like Uge says, you only won't bring the peace to the valley, but also to you. And also, one of my, like, why I love Ugwe as a character, because he's so wise. And also, this one line that I really liked about him. Well, actually, there are a lot of lines that it says. You cut the opinion of that I like. But this one line really hooks me a lot. Yesterday is history. And, and tomorrow is a gift. That's one of my favorite lines. But also this other one. Oh, Shifu. There is just news. 
there isn't any good or bad. And then when Shifu says Tai Lung has escaped prison, he's on his way. Nugu says, that is bad news. And also, one thing I also love is this other line as well. Where Nugu's like, there are no accidents. You know, I just love stuff like that. That's like just so, so good. But anyway, I am going to end this video here. Again, please recommend what I did say and use it. But anyway, peace.